Botox is one treatment for hyperhidrosis. However, some of you may want to choose a natural-based solution. Dr. Snyder, a naturopathic doctor, gives us his perspective. We know that some of you out there suffer from hyperhidrosis, uh, excessive sweating, and there's different degrees of hyperhidrosis. We're going to talk about the naturopathic perspective with Dr. Ben Snyder. Hello, hello. All right, hello. So last year we actually did a story on uh, the use of Botox for hyperhidrosis, and it is something that's used within the medical community. But we wanted to get a naturopathic doctor's perspective. Right. Well, there is a lot that can be done naturopathically for excessive sweating. Uh, the very first thing that you want to do, though, is rule out secondary causes. So these okay. are things like hyperthyroidism, diabetes, different drug reactions, menopause, all these factors can cause excessive sweating in the patient, so they need to be ruled out before you pursue any other treatments right. for the primary cause, okay. which is caused by sympathetic overactivation. So the nerves that innervate heart rate, blood pressure, mm -hmm. breathing, sweat gland activity are overactive. What you have to do with, with the treatments that you decide naturopathically is, is tonify, try to bring down that sympathetic response. Right. And, and bring up the parasympathetic response. So what you want to look at is diet first off. Okay. You want to eliminate refined carbohydrates, yeah, like so white examples. bread, sugar. Um, white pasta? White pasta, okay. exactly. Um, because what this does is it toys with our, our blood sugar levels. And when our blood sugar drops to a certain point, our adrenal glands kick in and, and you start to sweat, right? We start to sweat. Um, it's, it's also really important to identify and remove food allergens. Um, we all have different, each body has different food sensitivities. Any liquid that's high in caffeine is an adrenal stimulant, okay, okay which will increase that sympathetic ah, response and our sweat You know band. what? They're making these shakes and these drinks with all this caffeine in it. So that's not good either, it's right? It's a no-no for hyperhidrosis. Very interesting. Okay, yeah. and what about alcohol? Alcohol Probably it, no. has the same effect as well. No coffee, no alcohol. Okay, all right. So that's diet. That's diet. That's diet in a nutshell. Um, botanical medicine also very effective for, for treatment of hyperhidrosis, Siberian ginseng, rhodiola, sage tea. Mm -hmm. These three herbs are really effective at helping the adrenal glands deal with the stress in that person's environment. Okay, what about supplements and vitamins? What you want to look at are the supplements that are highly concentrated in the, mm -hmm. in the stress organ, the okay. adrenal gland, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and the minerals zinc and magnesium. What about increasing the other component. The, the parasympathetic the par side, that's, yeah. That's what I wanted to say, yeah. Yeah, and that's where mind, different mind-body techniques come in, okay. like meditation, which helps to, to train the, the mind to, to be less responsive to the stressors in our environment. So not reacting, so that which again causes you to sweat. Another thing that naturopathically can be done for these patients mm -hmm. is acupuncture. What it does is needles are inserted into different points in the body that send nerve signals to the brain, mm -hmm. and that releases what we call serotonin or and dopamine, which mm -hmm. are anti-stress. Yeah. And that's why exercise is good specifically as well, because it releases some of those happy chemicals. Exactly. Too, right? Exactly. I always feel good after a workout. <laughs> the, the runner's high. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that information, Dr. Uh, of course, okay. of course. It was great to have you join us here on Cosmetic Innovations. Be sure to check out our website for guest information, links, and feel free to send us your comments. We'll see you next week.